Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Call me like a cherry pony. Call me like a cherry pony. Your boy done switched up on you. Call me like a cherry pony. Wait a minute, minute y'all. You guys, look. If this is your very first time to this channel, run over there and subscribe for us. And after you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell beside the word subscribe so that you'll be notified each and every time that we upload a video. And then, welcome to the Lips family. Now, very importantly today, our channel name is Lips. And it's spelled L-L-I-P-S. And it stands for Living Life in positive serenity. Now we know you wanna do that right, cause if you didn't hit that button and you didn't hit that bell, you have lied to me. And I know you lied, period. <laughs> you guys check this out. We're gonna go ahead and pray and we're gonna get to eating. We're gonna get into the goodness, here we go. Amen. How y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? Guess what? You guys look what we got today. We have some very important news to let you know. You heard what he said. What's up? What's up? What's up? You guys, today we are doing the Cooking with Tracy Full Wrap of Ribs Challenge. That's what we're doing today, y'all. You guys, if you don't know, Cooking with Tracy uh, has recently passed and her children have taken over her channel. So I'll put the link to the channel in the description box. And all we have to do is just eat us a rack of ribs, the whole rack. So, baby, we got some baby backs. <laughs> hey! Can we do it? We can do it. Okay, you guys, we also have some devil eggs made by David's wife, my friend Carla. They're so yummy. And you guys, don't forget about your coldest water bottle. The link is in the description box. And if you would like 10% off of your complete order, your entire order, all you got to do is put in L-L-I-P-S. Put in the code LIPS. Okay, guys, we done pray. Let's get to eating. But before I tell you that, guess what? Big Ben is in the building, baby. Big Ben is here. Big Ben is in the house, hot, y'all. Because guess what? The real finna be hot. Okay. Let's see if he's not to refresh it. Mmm. 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 Yes, he is. Okay, guys. Let's get it. Go to it. You guys, we got some two tiny spicy here. You know, I got my jalapeno. Your lips hot sauce is over here, y'all. And if you would like to get your bottle, make sure you look in the description box. I put the link way up at the top in blue so you can't miss it. All right, one more thing, and then I promise we're gonna get to eating. Today, y'all, we've got old dog beverage. <laughs> old dog beverages. Here, you guys. It's 4th of July weekend, and we're just congregating as friends. Now we're gonna get to eating, okay? No doubt. Gotta have a sip. Ah. Uh, Okay, y'all, I'm hungry. Let me give y'all the first bite of the devil eggs that Miss Carla made. Aren't they pretty? Mmm. 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 Y'all really, really good. Mmm. 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 Y'all got some white onion up under my ribs. Mmm. To hold them up for you. Ooh, ooh, wait, 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 wait. Yes, baby. I'm ready for this. All right. Lady Boss did an awesome job on that. <laughs> Didn't Lady Boss do that? Yes, sir. Speaking of Lady Boss, you guys, you guys, David mm, is about to start his own channel, and I'm going to let him tell you about it, the name of it, what it's going to be about, so you guys can tune in. Up on tomorrow. His first video is gonna launch tomorrow, Legion. So yeah, go ahead, David. Well, see, my show is gonna be a little bit of, I'm gonna do a little cooking, do a little bit of eating, a little bit of talking. Um, just mainly just just keeping it real, you know what I'm saying? Just uh, try to have everybody, you know, my brother, my brother lives here. I mean, just keep it positive, you know what I'm saying? Like you said, living life in positive serenity. Positive, what it's yeah. All about. It sure is. And everybody happy. Everybody, everything's good. And eating some good food. Amen. All right, Speaking you guys, here's your first bite of the baby backs. Look at that, y'all. Look at that, look at that, look at that. I had two bites, so man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to throw you an empty bone. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. 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 These are good. 
Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 Are you satisfied with your good? I'm going to wrap it on them. Yes, sir. But behind them, you need some money. Hold on, sir. They go on top of that. Then you guys go back with the lips hot sauce. Mmm. 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 some tender. So how y'all doing today? Mmm. Hope everybody is well. We do, we do, we do. You got today. It's a very serious but sensitive video, okay? I want to warn you, if your children are watching with you, you might want to stop the video, send them out, and you watch the video first, parents, prior to you letting your children watch, okay? Today's video is going to be about substance abuse, you guys. Uh, and... The first thing I want to make sure you let you know, make sure that I let you know, is that the suicide hotline is always in my description box. If you're having problems and you need to speak with someone, whether it's due with substance abuse or whatever, and you're feeling like doing something to yourself, make sure that you look in the description box and get that number. Okay? 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, they're there for you. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm, 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 mm. I don't need any of the other sauce. I think I put a little too much of that. Two times five. Mm -mm. Y'all never get too much heat, baby. <laughs> mm -mm. So, you guys, um, the reason why we're doing this video is because David had a family member recently that. OD off of substances. And I thought it was important for me to bring this video to you guys because you never know who is having problems with this type of thing. Specifically because I have been a victim of being addicted to a substance myself. Yes. Um, and they say once an addict, you're always an addict. So it's an everyday fight, every day, you guys. We try to keep your steps together. And sometimes you're not going to win that fight. Sometimes you're going to fall down. But that's not the important thing. The important thing is how many times you get up. Remember that. God went on the cross and he died for us one time. And he had did enough. So the thing of it is then, since he did die at one time, mm, if he wakes you up the next day, it's giving you an opportunity to change what was wrong. Or what was, you know, what was bad the day before. You know, I've told you guys many, many times before over the course of our... Y'all think I'm real that you hop a day. You hear me? I cannot deal with it. Mm -mm. Um, but I tell you guys always, the only thing that stops you from being the person that you want to be tomorrow is for you not to start being that person today. That's it. You know, a lot of people hide in the closet. And they're afraid to talk about the struggles that they have with substance abuse. That was one of my main problems. I never want to, once I get them feelings in my head, I never want to tell anybody. I just keep them to myself and they keep festering and festering and festering until I act on them. Right. And you guys, God was a big part of David getting himself clean. I want you guys to know how important it is to pray and get that really, really close relationship with God. Mm. To know that you are forgiven. So most of the time you beat yourself up. And God has already forgiven you anyway. He was already forgiven you anyway. <coughs> yeah. Oh. Look like Big Dave over here. Did you say the name of your channel? Who? Heavy Duty Express. The Heavy Duty Express, baby. Heavy Duty Express. You guys, we're going to look for it tomorrow. My video tomorrow that I put out, I'm going to put his link to his channel in my description box tomorrow. That way you guys can just run over there. And subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Y'all, y'all know what to do. Y'all know what to do. Watch this video three, four times if you have to. We need to get him monetized quickly. He's going to give you guys some good cooking. He's going to show you how he's doing it. Yes. And then he's going to sit down. Him and probably Lady Boss, his wife, and have a meal with you. You guys, make sure you check out this channel. It'll be in my description box tomorrow, okay? It's going to be the first video. It's an introductory video. Y'all come see it.
And hopefully, he don't put them too damn spice on it because he can't handle it. Hey! <laughs> Mm. Mm. It's a little warm. Mm -hmm. So you guys, let me tell you this. Um, most times people with substance abuses or substance abuse issues, mm, mm, they hide it from the world. They're embarrassed of it. I'm well, afraid to tell people that they had problems. Yeah. Um, but when David called me and told me that his cousin had OD, I said, I've got to speak up and say something to my legion and let them know that it's okay. It's okay. Right, what were you going to say, David? People, people are scared when they're and like I was. I mean, you're scared because you think if you tell somebody, then then they're gonna think bad about you. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it, it, in all in all reality, you telling somebody that's the first step right there to admitting you know you have a problem. That's it's, right. It's, I mean, it, it just you better preach. Telling somebody. I mean, one, one thing to help me. I mean, I've I've been to uh, I admit I've been to a few treatment centers to to to, to get my life right. And I mean, uh, this this last time. I went to a Christian facility, and I mean that. that I, I've always been a believer in God. I, that's never been an issue with me. My thing was I would get just disgusted with myself and give up on believing that He would help. Mm -hmm. I mean, and I mean, but this is different. Uh, it, so much feels different this time than any of the other, other times that I went through it. I mean, I'm doing. I'm doing everything I need to do I mean, mm -hmm. to, to stay away from the from the from the stuff. Well, keep your mind healthy. Yeah, because that's where the devil works at is in your mind. He makes your body feel like that you have to have this, but where he yeah. attacks you at is in your mind. So, with that being said, hiding from the world, even from your closest loved ones, is what I mean, that's what we do. And I'm calling myself an addict because I have had substance abuse issues and. They say once the addict, if you if you have that addictive behavior, whether it be addicted to them, like me, hot sauce. An addictive behavior is addictive behavior. It doesn't always have to be a drug or something illegal or alcohol. It doesn't have to be that. It can be gambling. Yes, sir. It can be sex. Yes, sir. It could be. Some people, their addiction is lying. Tell it. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Some folks don't know how to do that. They just lie all the time. Amen. Mm. Believe it or not, when you have substance abuse issues, you become a good one. You become a good liar. But like they yeah. were saying, the first step is to acknowledge it and open your mouth and say it. Because like his wife, a lot of us, or in my case, hubby, they're there to comfort you. Obviously, they want you to win. They're on your side. But when you are mm, acting on and in this realm of, oh, excuse me, y'all, of this addictive behavior, you cower down and, and fold in yourself, even with your closest, closest loved one. And, um, they can't help you there. You know, they want you to win, but if you don't open up your mouth and tell them that you need help, they can't help you. They can't help you. Well, it's not something um, to have in addition to a substance, a controlled substance, however you want to say it. To have something like that, like I said, it's an everyday fight. Now, keep yourself clean. It is. And, um, once you open your mouth, they can help fight with you. Because we all have triggers. Um, any person, like I said, it could be gambling. It could be just straight up lying. You don't know how to tell the truth. You know, like he said, sex. There's a whole lot of things, guys. But I always remember that the most important thing, you know, seek the help that you need. Whether it be a facility, 
what it be like I said, your close loved ones to support you and love you in what you're going through. And keep God first. Amen. Always. Always keep God first. That's 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 one thing that helps me this I mean is what I realize that's gonna keep me well, other than reaching out to family and friends, is God. I mean right. every day I read my Bible, I read I got, I got our daily bread. I started that when I went to when I went to this last last treatment center I was in. Um that said you mean you got you got they, they call it daily devotion. You get up at five thirty in the morning, eat breakfast, go straight from breakfast to, to daily devotion for an hour. You sit there and you read your Bible, you got this little word study book you do, read your daily bread, pray. A lot of guys in there they wouldn't take it serious. I mean they would sit there and sleep, work puzzle books, or do whatever. So I mean you got your you got your people that just wanna just wanna Basically, coming out of the street to have a place, a place to sleep. Mm -hmm. and but not working on themselves. Right, not working on themselves. Just just basically hiding and try, trying to... Cop out. Cop out, basically, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, but, uh, but you do got you ones, like me, that, that really take it serious. I mean, get up every day, do what you're supposed to do. Morning devotion. I mean, of course, when we're at chapel at night every day, so I mean, it's a, it's it's work involved. But if, if you're truly serious, sincere about getting your life right, then you'll do it right. Mm -hmm. And another thing I want to point out to you guys: overcoming substance abuse, you will have help if you open your mouth. You always have God. But it's about being responsible to you because you know, you and God will know whatever you do. You make him fool the world and make them feel like it's okay. But it's a personal struggle with substance abuse. You have to be accountable to yourself before anyone else. You know, you have got to get on a personal level with you and God and be honest to yourself. And like I said, um, this is like a sensitive issue. And most people that have or have had these type of issues. You know you're on the right channel, baby. You know you're on the right channel. <laughs> Y'all almost bad. That's what I see. <laughs> That's what I see. You know, another thing, I mean, yeah, <clears throat> like you said, man, you got to open up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it, the, uh, and, uh, and like I said, the first step is you're being real with yourself. Being real with yourself. If, right. you can't, if you can't be real with yourself, you can't be real with nobody else. Mm -hmm. Just like if you can't love yourself, you can't love nobody else. <laughs> hey, you know what I would tell you? I don't look in the mirror. When I ask yourself, how have you treated yourself? Now, that's a very bad question. Because if no one else know what you're doing, you know what you're doing. These ribs is good. Mm -hmm. Woo! What you said? I done made mine hot. What you said? How you said it in that order? <laughs> <laughs> they good, y'all. Look at that. Honey, they real good. I'm going to enjoy you the bone here. Oh, honey. And my last one of that. Okay. Keep smoking. Hmm? I'm smoking. Steam coming out of my ears yet? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I almost got choked out. I cannot oh. do it. Oh, no. Uh-uh. Um, well, anyway, you guys, there is all type of help out there for you. It's everywhere. They have uh, substance abuse counselors. Hotlines. Hotlines. They even set you up on, well, me, myself, I didn't have to go to a facility when I was having issues in this area because my family was strong enough and dominant enough in my life in order for me to get a handle on what I was going through. But you have to find an outlet. You have to find someone 
that like a buddy system like david and i um if i was having problems in this area and i was thinking about doing something the best thing for me to do with him knowing what i have been through is to call and say hey brother today i'm thinking about doing something stupid that's why you have to open up so people can help you yeah. so people can guide you through they can and um so it's very very important like i said or like we said to be important to be real with yourself first admit that you have a problem say it out of your mouth you have to say it because it becomes real when you let it out of your mouth yeah can't just allow people to feel like, even though they probably know anyway, because when you are addicted to a substance, your life changes, whether you know it or not. It does, it changes. And it may be small, subtle things, but believe it or not, people that love you, they see them small, subtle things. So you're really not hiding anyway. You're just not being real with yourself. Mm. Mm-hmm. <coughs> okay, y'all, let me get him get this A up. As you can see, David and I already got this through. But we have dessert today, y'all. Baby! Oh. Baby! We got dessert today, honey. So let me finish this up. Mmm. 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 Y'all, this is good. This is really good. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. I ain't gonna see it. I ain't gonna see it! <laughs> mm mmm. Now right down. Let everybody in. <coughs> oh, you got a lot of spice on there. <laughs> it's a lot. Mm. Yeah, I eat so much of it. The onion ain't even hot. <laughs> oh, I can probably uh. clip, but I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna do it. Little lips say, do it for the back. I ain't gonna do it. Do it for the back. Mm-hmm. Hmm. That's a good I would bite the bone. Nice. That's sad. Right. You gotta see mine. I have that all on. Mm-hmm. You, you do it though. I started eating some of the bones. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's mm. gonna break any more teeth. Okay. So you guys, I'm almost finished. So we have successfully done the full rack of ribs challenge by cooking with Tracy. You guys, if you don't know who cooking with Tracy was, so I will have her link in the description box. And her children have taken over her channel, and they're going to keep it going with her. But it's all of her memory, okay? Mm. Mmm. 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 There you go. I know me just behind. So, you guys, we're going to go ahead and get up out of here right on this particular part right now. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Oh, it's good. It's really, really good. Mmm. I second the motion. Did you say it? Another thing that I did want to say, you guys, was probably in this part, because we're going to continue to talk in dessert time. It's dessert time. That's how I sound world with that. Sound world. Sound world. Another thing I wanted to tell you guys really, really quick was. They're yours. They're yours. You have it. <laughs> you have it. Mm. We've been to all that. But another thing that I want to step up and say is that, Legion, I love you guys. I love you guys so, so much. I really, really do. And that's why I felt compelled, um, like I said, with the tragedy that happened with David's cousin. You guys, those type of things happen out of fear because you couldn't tell someone what you were going through. So you close yourself in. And you continue to do this because it's out of fear. Yeah. It's out of fear from asking for help. So you call yourself in. Scared of rejection. Scared of rejection. That, that's, that's the perfect way to say it too, David. It's the perfect way to say it. And um, 
And then you just continue to do whatever substance that you're doing until it affects your heart or some type of organ somewhere. Most of the time it's your heart though. It was affected, don't you think? I'm not sure now, don't, don't quote me on that, but most of the time you do so much that it affects your heart. And you've had too much and your body becomes toxic with this particular, any substance that there is. And um, until your body you know, goes to shutting down. Um, literally. Literally. This last, this last time, I, I seriously thought I was dying. I mean, I, I just came home, or well, she came home and found me. I, I, was, I, I was out. I was on the floor. In, in the floor. I mean, when it scared the mess out of her, I mean, she told me about it. I mean, I mean, she told me a few times while I was still in the, like, almost like a comatose state. Mm -hmm. But then when, when she told me again after I came out of that, I was just like, wow. I mean, I, it was crazy. And then on top of that, too, you guys, um, once you come out and say it or something happens and they know, um, which, um, is it boss, lady, lady boss? Lady boss. Okay. My bad, y'all. It's a new channel. Let me get it together. So, you know, what is another thing that you don't realize in this particular thing is that the people that love you the most are the ones you hurt the most. They're the ones that have to take the brutness of you being this other person. Yep. Because it is, you're two different people when you're addicted to a substance. Um... And that doesn't have to be illicit drugs. It could, I mean, people are addicted to marijuana. Yeah. Some people are addicted to smoking cigarettes. It's not about it having to be any particular drug. It is the dependency on it. Yeah. It's the dependency that you have. Um, and it doesn't matter what it is, whether it's marijuana or something harder or whatever it is, you guys. But the most important thing it's always to get help. Keep God first and realize, always pray. Always pray. One, yeah. one, one prayer that I always found to help me, that especially this time that, that I'm really trying, I really want to do right, is a surrender prayer. I mean, God, grant me the serenity to accept the things that I cannot change, courage to change the things that I can, and the willingness to know the difference. So the difference in the two, or all of them, you know? That is such a real prayer. Yep. It is. That is such a real prayer, you guys. But anyway, like I said, we're going to get up out of here. We're going to continue to talk in the next segment. I don't know how much more talking we're going to be doing, y'all, because, baby, I dessert. Huh. Get there, people. Get there. We'll be right back. And we're back, you guys. Check this out, y'all. We have a staple of an outside barbecue. Baby, in the summertime, if you don't get you some of this for dessert, it's good old melon, the watermelon. <laughs> you don't know. And guess what? With this one right here, we have us a dessert. Oh, dog beverage. Hey, <laughs> oh, dog beverages. Here, you guys. This is the Seagram Escapes, Jamaican me happy. <laughs> hey, that that can make me happy. Oh, that tastes good. Oh, it tastes real good. See here, y'all. She's got the watermelon and the lemon, and what's the strawberry? Yes. yes. Strawberry. See, Seagram's Escape, Jamaican me happy. And so, guava flavors. What's guava? I thought that it was important. Um, this particular drink is once you get the help that you need, and you find yourself, you find that strength to overcome um, the substance addiction that you have. That's that's what it brings you. That's the type of joy that it brings you. Yeah. Happiness. You feel more connected to God. You feel more centered in yourself. Um, but still a lot of people, you guys, I got a ta uh, tahine. Um, and y'all know, oh. I don't know which PC first. It always. <laughs> now you guys go with the tahine on it. Mmm. It's good too. Ooh, what the hell's that? It's good. Y'all, y'all think I be lying when I tell y'all that. 
But this lips hot sauce is good on everything. The business. That's what he's asking for. It's the lips hot sauce. The problem is watermelon. Y'all know I ate it with watermelon on here before my step, and I'm finna do it now. Oh. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Y'all thought I was lying, but I wasn't. Good. <clears throat> I'm about to get choked out. This little side sauce can go on <clears throat> for me. Anything I put in my mouth. There you go. See it, see it, see it, see it. I said it one it time. It makes me happy. <laughs> I said it one time and I'll say it again. Lift fire hot sauce. I put that on everything. On everything. <laughs> yeah, it's really good on watermelon for real. It is. I made some shrimp the other night. I cooked some shrimp. Uh -huh. batter. I took put it, mixed some of the hot sauce in with the butter. Man. Uh, that sounds like it would be good. Mm -hmm. They do a lot of stuff with it. Uh, and they send me pictures and stuff what they do with it on Instagram a lot. My Lee Jan, I love you so much. And I hope that you guys know that it is hard to be comfortable enough in yourself and love yourself enough to open up and say, I had this problem or I have this problem um, cause like I said, remember in the teachings to make you better, you're always going to tell you once an addict, you're always an addict cause you're just one day or one incident or just one trigger to put you right back there. Yep. So you have to stay in the mind frame that you are, you're an addict. You know what I'm saying? That's the mind frame you have to be in if you're, if you're going to stay clean and overcome it. Let me tell you, you, you can never heal, fully heal from it, mm -hmm. but you can recover. That's you true. You can't stay on top of it. That's true. And as long as you take the necessary steps. To right. That's exactly what I've been saying. That's exactly what I've been saying. And like I said, you guys, you can't, when you have substance abuse problems, issues, whatever you want to say, that's something that you have to do within you or yourself. You can't want to be clean for someone else. Nope. It will not work that way. If you do it just for someone else or just to appease someone else, you got to love yourself more and want to do it for you. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'll, I didn't have to go to a recovery center. I did not. Um, Ah, that's good, y'all. I'm being a little honest. I mean, me and me and me and Lady Boss, we've been together. We was together seven years. This right in May, mm -hmm. May twenty seventh. In that seven years, there's been five instances where I have went to well four that I I, I, I said I was doing it because I wanted to get better, but more I was doing it because I didn't want to lose her. Right. And I mean, that, that's, that's, uh, that's like you said, that's, uh, you can't do it that mm -mm. way. You got to want to do it for you, for you, for nobody else but you. Now, the things that you can recover with doing it for you, that, I mean, that, that's... Uh, that root the benefit as well. Yeah, that, that root the benefit as well, but mainly the just deal is you. That's right. Yeah, I mean, you got to get your life right. You got to do things for you. Because if you, you don't, if you don't, you if you can't do it because you love yourself, how are you going to convince them that you're doing it because you love them? There's no mm -hmm. good logic for that. So I always remember that you're doing it for you. You're doing it for you. And if you're having such issues and it has gotten bad enough, I want to reiterate. It's got bad enough to where you're so down on yourself, you're as tired of hiding, you're angry, you know. You'll start to blame what you're going through. Believe it or not, you'll start if if you get to a lowest to your lowest point, you'll start to even blame God. You won't want to make it everybody else's issue, everybody else's problem. It's always I done this because 
Yeah. It's never your fault. It's always everybody else's. Never your fault. You'll blame God before you'll accept that you have an issue. And you're not going to clean it up until you get that straight. You know? And the thing of it is, is, you guys, you just can't be afraid. If you really want help, you can't be afraid. You can't not. Because substance abuse issues are something that you need. Even if you don't need someone to get straight, you're going to need someone to stay straight. You are. And um, David and I, Lady Boss, we've been friends for several years. And um, some of these instances, um, you know, Lady Boss was really, really hurt. Because I tell you, it's, it's the people that love you the most that you hurt the most. Yeah. Like Lady Boss, a uh, hubby, you know? Tell me you got to step outside yourself. I mean, <clears throat> once you step outside yourself, I mean, and, like, and like he said, you ain't always got to go to a treatment center. Mm -hmm. You can go to, I mean, they got programs like... Um, or meetings you go to A A N A. I mean, keep it real. You can go to God. Right, man. Because that's what's gonna give you the strength to overcome it anyway. Yeah. You know, but some it's, different things work for different people. Some people need facilities. You know, some people need that hands-on extra touch yeah. to it to get over it. If they do. I mean, some people. Hmm. Huh? What you say? <laughs> some people need in the beginning for them to be strong enough. And you may be that type of person that needs someone to hold you accountable until you can stand up on your own two feet. Some people need that. And that's where the, they have facilities for you. And, and like I said, you guys, all in all, this is never a comfortable conversation, whether you beat it or not. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's just never a comfortable conversation to have. So that's why David and I, because of what happened to his cousin, we truly wanted to make sure that you guys know that it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. It took him to do the express. Let me do the express. It took him four times before he got it right. Number five. And the thing about it is, then, if you love yourself and you have that relationship with God, even if there's time number six, you get back on the right road. You know. Even if you fall off, always remember what it took, the emotions that you felt for you to beat it the first time. You know what I'm saying? And it's important to have prayer partners. Yeah. It's important to have, you know, help. Someone that you can talk to openly and freely about what's going on with you. Mmm. Mmm. I think they don't think. The 12 step, step, oh, good. Yo, I'm about to get choked out. <laughs> like the 12 step program. Um, but I think this other facility do like a seven step too, don't it? It's two different ones, ain't it? Or all of them 12. Well, almost I've ever seen it's 12 steps. 12. Okay. Maybe they went from there. 12 steps and 12 traditions. Mm hmm. See, because I didn't go to a facility, I never learned a new about that part of it. But, well, I do know the basis is the same. You need to acknowledge it. You need to accept it. You've got to see God because you will not make it without him. I mean, it's through his grace that, that and his mercy that will allow you to come back to yourself or find a new self, whichever it is. Yeah. You know? You guys, truly, 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 always be man enough or woman enough, or even if it's a child, because sometimes these things happen to children, you know, 14, 15, 16 years old, and it just still brings me back over and over again, because I struggled with this, you guys, um, to do this video, I did, um, but... Like I said, for what happened to David's family member, I didn't want to have it on my heart to let you know 
that I have had such issues myself. And like I said, it's a, it's a daily thing. Um, I had to let you know that to try to help you if I can. Okay? Because it's okay. You know, like I said, it's not about how many times you fall down that's important. It's about how many times you get up. Mm -hmm. How many times you get up, y'all? One day at a time. Just one. Sometimes it's one minute at a time. I mean, it can get so bad on you. It never was that bad for me, but I do know how it goes. Yeah. Sometimes it could be one minute at a time that you're struggling trying to fight this addiction. Yeah. So, like I said, you guys you just have to pray. You guys acknowledge it, and say it out of your mouth, and accept it, and know that some will shy away. They will. Everybody, some people are going to let you down. The ones that you really thought cared something about you. When they find out that you have a problem, that's going to ease away. But that's okay. Because the ones that's supposed to be there for you, they'll be there for you. Okay? No matter what. No matter what. Mm -hmm. And God ain't going to never leave you. Regardless. Never. All right, y'all. Now, now you're going to turn this up and drink here. Y'all ready, ladies? Oh, we got. We hope you guys have enjoyed. We really, really do. Like I said, you guys, this was the full rack of ribs challenge by Cooking with Tracy. The link will be in the description box. Do not forget if you want your coldest water bottle and you want ten percent off of your entire order, make sure you look in the description box. The link is down. It's way, 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 way up at the top. Hit that jump. Hit that jump. Get you one. Get you one. And I'm gonna tell you guys, this here really keeps. Your beverage is truly, truly cold. I mean, stuff stay in there cold for 24 hours. We really do. So, with that being said, here we go, y'all. Comment. Comment. Oh, yeah, I'm getting choked out of this. Bitch, yo! What's going on in this bitch, yo? Okay, here we go. Ooh. Legion, we're gonna get up out of here, okay? <laughs> we're gonna go, we're gonna go, we're gonna go. There ain't nothing but the devil. That's all it is. He doesn't want me to do this finishing video to help you. He doesn't. Get on down, huh? Get thee behind me. Get thee behind me, Satan. Now let's go, y'all. Comment. Comment. Hey, comment, like, share, and go on, take it for the team. Let's go. Hey, remember. Mm. Oh. Ah. So like I said, you guys, we hope you guys have enjoyed and we hope that we have helped someone. We really do. And David, I appreciate you, man. Appreciate you, bro. I love you. I'm here for you. And I know that you are here for me as well. Always. And um, like I said, you guys, you don't have to be an active addict to know that you need help. To know that you need help. So y'all, we're gonna get up out of here. I love you guys so, so much. And like I said, one more time, I hope you have enjoyed and if you are in this place where you feel like you have no help, you have it. You just got to reach out for it. That's it. Okay? We love you guys so Ooh. Y'all going to go. We love you guys so, so much. And we're going to see you guys next time. So I'm my new legion. I thank you guys so, so much for being here. You guys are very, very important to me because you could have chosen to be anywhere else in the world. But you chose to be here with us. And we love you for it. So I'm my existing legion. Uh, uh. So I'm not existing DJ and I love you guys so so much. Mwah. And we finna go, y'all. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys go. Always remember that there's always more than one way home. All you have to do is get there. So get there, people. Get there. I love you all. And I'm gonna see you guys next time. And if you're not gonna watch me next time, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Period. Ha <laughs> ha. Bye-bye.